All right, guys. The day is Friday, and we're back down here at the hospital cafeteria. The lovely fountain in the background. Ah, I've just ordered a coffee and three, that's four, three of those chicken breast meals that I got uh, yesterday because they are by far the best, most cleanest meal I've had so far and at the best price. So I've ordered three to take away. I'm going to take them um, back to the hotel. Anna has done really, really well. She's a fucking trooper. Um, I took a sleeping pill last night so I could sleep. She didn't sleep fuck all, but um, she's, she's feeling really good. Uh, and if you hadn't guessed, the reason we're here is because Anna got a breast enlargement. Uh, for personal reasons, well, you know, it really doesn't matter. But uh, it's obviously scary and I'm here as support for her. So what actually happened, she got a package deal with a, a company called uh, Cosmeti Tour, which is run through Australia. Um, they've got clinics all around Australia and they've also got clinics in Thailand as well. So she decided to take the, the holiday option and go to Thailand and um, I got the option to come along and have all of the accommodation um, and transfers and stuff included for an extra 250 bucks so that was you know a bargain and so I jumped on it and I had to pay for my flights so in here five days we've got another seven nights to go um, can't wait Anna is in recovery at the moment recovery mode so I've just been helping her out where she, where she needs it um, being a good brother, of course, but uh, yeah, we'll be coming back here um, on the 28th and we fly out on the night of the 29th, so Anna's really happy. Um, she went for a smaller size than what she was going to do, uh, which reduced the risk of, you know, complications. Um, the surgeon came and saw her just before and said that she was really healthy, you know, couldn't ask for a better result, uh, so Anna's stoked, and I'm really happy about that because that was, you know, that was the major worry, wasn't it? So, uh, hard part's over now. It's just recovery for her, and it's on to doing some cool shit for me. So, I'll uh, definitely take you guys along. I'm going to get a scooter when we get back to the hotel, and I'm going to buzz around the coast and see see what Phuket's got to offer, and uh, I'll show you when I get there. Fucking bright out here, I need my sunnies. So yeah, that's it guys. Talk to you soon. Alright guys, we are back at the Pullman Arcadia Hotel. Anna uh, is in the room and I am actually going to head down to the sunset deck. Uh, it's about 6.30 at night and Finally, we've got another awesome sky like we did the first night and I assume the sunset is going to be epic as fuck. So I've got my tripod and I'm going to go set it up and get a wicked ass time lapse. Which is something I've wanted to do since I've been here but I haven't, I haven't had the opportunity to. So tonight, I'm going to set it up nice and early and then we'll see what it looks like at the end. But I can't wait because I have a feeling it's going to be epic. So... I think it's down this way, I'm not sure. It's cool man, this hotel's wicked. It's got all these paths going around the different rooms and they've got two little Nissan Micras uh, that I showed you on the first day that have no doors on them. So they've actually made those specifically to be like, turn left he said, I'll go this way. Um, they've made those cars specifically to be, you know, for the porters, to take your bags up and take you up to your room. Um, I got a scooter today, but you're not actually allowed to ride it all the way up to your room so I've parked that at the car park and uh, these little Nissan Micras take everyone to their rooms and that that's the gym up there so as you might expect way up on the hill it's pretty epic and look the sky behind me I don't know if you can see but it's going pink so I better get this shit set up Sleep TV and the news I 
Oh yeah. I have a feeling. Oh man, look at this shit. Oh, there it is. Sunset deck. Far out. This is epic. All for myself. Oh man, I'm going to get, I'm going to get down there, much better, fuck I'm excited for this now, really excited, whoa shit, fucking lizard, oh man, look at this fucking shit. Make some magic tonight, people. This beach is just absolutely unbelievable. And Naiton is one of the only beaches on Phuket that hasn't been overtaken by ter uh, terrorists, by tourists. And um, it really is fucking cool, man. This is basically, the whole beach is basically shared between like, a couple of resorts. Yeah. Alright guys, you know it's times like this, you get kind of emotional, inspired, motivated. I'm certainly inspired right now but without further ado. This is, this is what they're treated to almost every single night. An amazing beach and uh, I think it's going to be just as amazing sunset so let's get into it.